Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my favorite mug cake. It's so easy to make. It takes less than five minutes. It's my favorite breakfast now and I also eat it as a midnight snack right before I go to bed. It's packed with protein and it's absolutely delicious. So let's get started. Okay, so first up we're going to be making a chocolate flavored mug cake today but if you have vanilla protein powder I'll show you how to do that as well. The first ingredient is the fruit. Uh, you don't have to put fruit if you don't want to, but I like to put a quarter of a banana or I'll cook a plantain or put a few strawberries or blueberries in there, whatever you want. But um, today we have banana. So literally just cut a small one-fourth of a banana, banana up and throw it in there, slice it. And then you're gonna want to mash it up with a spoon that way it's not so chunky so once you mash it up you're going to put in all of the wet ingredients so we have uh, egg whites and so it calls for one egg white egg white which is three tablespoons or five teaspoons So we'll put that in there. And then we'll take uh, cottage cheese, literally just a tad of cottage cheese. It's just a scoop to get more of a base. Uh, so put that in there. And then also um, I put two tablespoons of Chobani yogurt, plain yogurt, but it, I usually have chocolate, the little Chobani bites, they're new, and I'll put two tablespoons of that just to give it more of a chocolate flavor, uh, but really whatever uh, yogurt you have. I'm going to take two big scoops. And I mash that up some more. I have two spoons. Make sure you give it a good stir, and it's okay if you have chunks in there. That's what's so cool about it. It doesn't have to be a smooth consistency. And then I usually put two tablespoons of this coconut creamer, but you can put two tablespoons of almond milk or whatever liquid you want. I like the sweetener just because it gives it a little bit more of a sweeter taste. So I'll put two tablespoons of this. And nothing really has to be exact, you know, you can just eyeball it. And then I put about a teaspoon of the vanilla, so I'm not going to fill up this entire tablespoon. It's so crazy because you can usually tell if there's vanilla extract in it or not. And then uh, for the dry ingredients, I'll put cinnamon, which is delicious and it's great. And I eyeball it as well. There's not really a specific amount, probably about a teaspoon. And keep mixing that up. Oops. And then I love this coconut flour, but I used to make it with sprouted flour, really whatever flour you have. Uh, I like the coconut, I love the way it smells, and it gets it. It's so funny, the, the difference between the coconut flour and the sprouted flour is that I've noticed is that the coconut flour makes the cake a little bit more spongy and airier than the sprouted flour, which has a bunch of different uh, ingredients that they sprout to make the flour. So, you know, it's really eyeballing it again, but it's about half of a tablespoon. Throw that in there. And then you're going to want to put some baking powder just so that it and bake in the microwave and eyeball it as well about a teaspoon and then now for the chocolate so if you're going to be making a vanilla cake you're not going to be putting the cacao powder um, but for chocolate you will just to give it more of a chocolate flavor and it really adds in that rich chocolate punch to make it taste more like a brownie or like a lava cake 
So for this you'll put a scoop or about either a teaspoon or a tablespoon, it's up to you. And then last but not least is the protein powder. So I have chocolate, I put about three quarters of a scoop, just really depends, but that's, you don't want too much. And that's my phone, so ignore that. Okay, so that's what happens when you film all in one take. People can call you. Anyways, I added in the chocolate protein powder. We're going to mix it all up, get a smooth consistency with the banana chunks. And now for the microwave part, um, it really depends on what type of mug and the power of your microwave. So you're going to want to start out at a one minute base to cook it. And you have to eyeball it. If not, um, one minute might be too much and it'll spill over, but not yet be cooked into a cake. So start at one minute, watch it, add another 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Um, if you want to finish cooking it up, if you overcook it, then it comes out too dry. So it's really trial and error to figure out what your favorite uh, consistency is and how moist you want it. But once you get the right amount of time, for me it's usually a minute and 10 seconds. It's the perfect moist cake with the lava flowing through and it's, it's awesome. I would eat this all day. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so I can't wait to eat this. It smells and looks like a brownie. So good. Uh, you can add whatever topping you want, any type of nut butter or syrup, maple syrup, agave syrup, but I like to eat it without. So let me know what you think in the comments below and if you try it and how it comes out for you. And if you like this recipe, hit the like button below too. See you soon.